Hey there, game makers, and welcome back to the fifth of making a platformer in Game Maker. And today we're gonna do uh, this thing here, which is go through, dash through, clip through, fall through, whatever you wanna call that. Basically, these half transparent or half well, I don't know how you can call it. Basically, you can just, you know, jump through them. But of course, if you're on top, well, then be they behave like normal platforms or, for example, from the side. So, for example, you can uh, enter that. But of course, you can just um, jump through them. And then if you, for example, press down, you can clip through them. And then, for example, once th you do this, you enter a permanent clipping state, which is definitely not the best one. But hey, um, this is how what we're gonna do uh, now and uh, if you want to know how to do that in game maker then stick around alrighty so this is where we left off last time and i'm drawing a few things additionally just for understanding what's actually happening so first of all let's zoom in a little bit our dude has um as you can see here this rectangle this is our actual bounding box as you can see we cannot go further so here this part well of the sprite is clipping through but this is just you know drawing but um we in one of the previous videos we attached a different um collision mask to it and therefore um well now it explains wh how and why the uh, collisions are the way they are and additionally we have this small little rectangle above it the red one this is the break in or basically the toggle condition of clipping so for example once we do this one here and then for example once this red line is colliding with this new uh, wall type then we are entering the clipping state and then for example once we are in the air on the ground and basically we have no collisions um, to be met then we reset and then we are clipping no more so this is how that works and of course um recoloring the dude when he's um well in the clipping state so this is just for understanding so once again this is basically drawing the bounding box the collision box which is then set here collision mask this is then separate from the extra sprite being drawn and then this is the kind of bounding box top and bounding box tops minus three so basically a rectangle above the player which is just then toggling the um, well state of clipping on it. and of course if we are clipping then we are red and then if not we are just white so basically the default blending this is just for cosmetics so you can see it easier so therefore first of all we need our first new variable which is called clipping and then we just go into our gravity and here this is going to look a little bit messy i'm sorry for that in advance and yeah so basically what we do is first of all this is the default state we are not clipping so here we go this is how that looks like and nothing has changed and now we are adding this object fall through wall which is then um, i don't know it has a smaller sprite so 30 um 32 by 16 so if we just face plant it um it's a little bit narrower and this is how those fall through walls are designed they just are typically smaller just to signify hey um you can just jump through them fall through them whatever just be aware that i don't group the object uh, fall through wall with our object parent walls so all the other walls not just you know having children this is not part this is kind of a separate thing why because we're gonna use it for our gravity code in a separate way so first of all we just you know add that dude to our collision so here uh, here and here so these are the points so for example once again this is uh, for the gravity um, code part nothing really changed we just added a new collision instance to check for and now uh, once for example we started then it will well be like a regular wall and nothing has changed so basically this and this is just you know adding a new instance to check for and then it does work but of course now we need to um, define a way how to get 
out so for example we are not clipping so how can we do that well we just first of all need to check hey are we on the ground so basically we want to toggle the state of clipping so we just say like hey are we on the ground this is kind of important so we are definitely not on the ground so if we are not then we just say like hey we're just checking above us so above the collision box for that we just say collision rectangle and then bounding box left and right so we got both sides and then top minus one and I guess minus three or you can just have both minus one so then you can just go with collision line with our new object through uh, fall through wall and then we just check in like hey is there above us such a wall so it is definitely not no one uh, let's make this a little bit neater here then we are clipping that's pretty much it this is then the state clipping is set to true and then um well this is how that code works and then for example once we start it we will enter the clipping state and then this happens this is of course definitely not good because now we disabled our code so what do we need to do we need to copy the whole thing without that part a little bit and put it above and then if we are clipping true then we need to do one thing ignore the fall through wall because while well, we are clipping so it should be not relevant in our move and collide and our place meeting code and then we need to also end the clipping state so for that we can actually ignore while well, being on the ground but of course you can keep it if you like and then we're just checking hey collision in general with our object fall through wall so here we just do it like this and then i will explain why these numbers are there and they should be oops there we go and then um these numbers are almost the same but now we want to have the whole box not just top and top so we just say um, here bottom so now we have the full rectangle of our collision box now we, we will get into some <laughs> twitching but i will show you that um, how to circumvent it and then of course once we do that we say false so what is this statement meaning so let's say um, if we don't have a collision with any fall through wall then retoggle back and say like hey clipping is over so therefore we just say like hey collision is no one because this is the return value it could be no one or an id and if it's well no one so nothing has been returning we are in not having any collision with any of those walls then um well nothing is happening so as you can see we're getting red once we're clipping through it and then once we are on top clipping ends this is the great part of course now we can just as you can see we're clipping 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 and then once we are high enough boom it does work and this is the whole magic of the clipping fall through uh, whatever you want to call it uh, walls so first of all let's say you want to manually enter the clip through state so basically you just um, well with, you, with your player on top and you press down and then you want to fall through it so how can we do this so first of all we need an input uh, down here we go zero just a new variable and this new variable we will check here where our input is being checked and then we just say like hey keyboard check and then vk so virtual key not right not left but pressing down on your keyboard and then this is kind of nitpicking thing but i guess this is just to keep the uh, code quite clean so if we are constantly in our idle state and we don't change the idle state so if we're pressing down which is true and we are on ground here we go it's also true so basically we're just replicating the um 
the idle state. Then we can actually say like, hey, um, is clipping is true. Because if we walk around, we are changing the state. And I don't want to, you know, bleed over this, this state into another one. So here, let's keep this clean in each state. So therefore, we do it like this. And of course, what else is the condition which I forgot is, of course, we are not moving so move x is zero therefore this is just replicating this specific state and then if we break out of it this thing so the extra clipping uh, thing is not being taken into account or for example if you're jumping then this is not taken into account or if we are moving and then basically we can do the same for the walk state and only for those two so basically only for the idle and the walk state and here almost the same but basically just if we are moving definitely if we are definitely on the ground and we are pressing down then we enter manually our clip state and then for example once we press down it does work so let's check it out but as you can see it's not happening instantly and then you maybe have to keep on pressing so this is a little bit of a suboptimal way of for example here you will see some twitching sometimes um, to circumvent this one um, I put in a little bit of a buffer for getting out of the state so for example if we are clipping so this is this part we just say like hey I don't know plus one plus two so basically we're just having a little bit of a buffer minus two and then the twitching will not happen. So as you can see, instantly falling through. So here, um, this is then just, oh, beautiful. So this is how that works. Alrighty, that was it then from my side. Hopefully you understood it. So once again, um, let's go. So for example here, to enter the state, we need to have kind of a collision above the player and to get out of the state we're just using the collision box and if there's no collision with our um, well new um, clip through walls or fall through walls then we go out of the clipping state but of course if you do something like this we are constantly in the clipping state because we are just checking like hey is there now still a wall there and you you are you are you are all the time if you're going out boom you are going well you're disengaging from well the clipping state hopefully that was a more comprehensive guide it is not perfect but it does work so you get the one up in the <laughs> half-baked uh, code improvement seal here from my side already that was it then <laughs> from my side um and have a good one bye bye